Oh, hey guys, Harry here. Back on site again. Well, never left. But, uh, we're doing a little, I'll show you what I'm doing today. Do a little bricklaying vlog. <laughs> Fuck me, this feels weird. Right, check so, it out. We're building a little garage to cut up. Look at the fucking height of that. Fuck all. There's about less than 500 bricks in it, I think. And it's quarter to, ten, uh, quarter to 11. Uh, I got here a bit late this morning, half eight ish. I'm doing a little bit of patching and whatnot. Uh, so, on these little brown Connie bricks today, on these staging scaffolds, so we don't need help for us tubs. Perfect height. Uh, arm one. So, um, not trip on that. So, uh, yeah, we've got a little profile set up. Um, this was someone else's garage, but they, they left us a couple of corners. I had to come and put a couple extra bricks on for me. For me, uh, aluminiums. It's a bit tall, to be honest. I've got some light ones. I might cut them in half of these in future. You can see there's a good, good 600 too high there. Um, maybe 750 too high. Uh, but yeah, so I, we haven't got the cuts for these, but we've got almost the right angle cut. So. I rack them back all the way to the top. I just do the cuts after. And then these little block pillars have to go up and all. So I've got some blocks there. I just gotta plop them in as I go up. Because look how many fucking trusses there are. Kai's gonna have a nightmare pointing this. He's off doing a bit of patching. Um, so I've got enough gobble loaded up for this whole little run. So I'm gonna get this on camera for you and then that'll be it I think. Right. So, I don't think you can get quite as consistent spread. I don't like spreading that way. I feel like I'm going fucking back.
bad wood.
so that were a little half an hour little run you can see I'll show you but the gobbo is too wet really it's lovely to lay with it's too wet for these bricks you know and then obviously you get it stiffer and then it slows you down so yeah I'll show you so that's after half an hour that's just me laying um, you can see the bottom joint like you can see it's just slightly bulging and it's just that means the motor's too wet for these and they'll start slumping mainly in the middle like your, your ends are fine but a little trick I used to use years ago when I was laying them just lay your last course on the line and then you can you can keep from it's easy with your garage you've got both sides to push your bricks if you need to push it back in but you can see even with profiles these bricks will slump in the middle even off after like eight course I'm going to carry on and get this up um, it's only took me like 20 odd, 25 minutes to do this so I've got this little triangle left whatever it is, 50 bricks I'm going to do that and then we'll do the other side and that'll be basically home time we ain't got, normally I'd just put the cuts in as I go but we ain't got them I'm going to have to cut them by hand so might do it on Monday, I don't know so well, we got this and then topped my little pillar wall off I did yesterday it took me about a day and a half to do that there was eight pillars, got little tops to put on those, and then, yeah, All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that little bit of laying footage. Um, hope you like the camera quality. It's my new phone. I'm gonna try to get some head cam at some point. Uh, but yeah, you see what I mean with these Connie bricks. You know, it's not so bad if you just steady away. You know, your normal average gang probably likes them because they're a bit more forgiving. But when you're wanting to lay it any sort of speed, and you already know where the bricks going before you've laid it they're moving they're just moving so but yeah always show you here I'll uh, get my little level well I'm a big level need a six foot level always but six foot sure. level obviously that's plumb obviously I'm tra trapping the line there but you can normally check you can always check you can say right a line's thickness is plumb so I want to ease my profiles out a little bit rub it all the way down it just stops you getting those those 10 mil bellies or those 5 mil bellies. See, flat to the wall. Need to ease them out a little bit, but a little way down. Hey guys, welcome to the voiceover part of the video. I've just had a couple of guys that are doing this, but I'm using a new editing app. Um, and it just deleted my last voiceover, so fuming. Anyway, um, Decided to make a decent sized video today. It's first time. It's been nice weather uh, First time I'm out of the way uh, on, a, on a scaffold a little bit secluded so I can Record with uh, too much noise can get a little bit of that ASMR sort of thing in there with trial scrapes whatnot and uh, Yeah, you know, I'd had the first full week in like three weeks and then God we've had that much bad weather. I'm just trying to get been getting in getting my money in as quick as we can for me and Kai and getting off really a lot of the time and you know with the dark nights you can't really stay in much past half three so with these lighter nights coming and the work picking up a little bit I've been able to put in a decent shift now and again you know I don't like working late on a Friday so you know Kai always goes at two that's our, that's our finishing time on a Friday and then in the midweek it's you know half three and and like you know, it's uh, I don't try I don't try not to work too late because you can easily burn out. I've burnt out in the past, but you know these light nights, price is dropping. You've got to sometimes get a bit of a push to actually earn a decent crust, um, which I do. I talk a little bit about it at the end. You know, there's a massive bit of reality check misconception of a of these TikTok bricklayers and. You know, you you like some of them really don't help. You know, in the past, you know with with some of the money that you can earn on price but it it's hit and miss it's hit and miss massively and it's not and like you know what you're seeing now with me it's not not it's not the average bricklayer speed you know the average bricklayer probably goes at half the speed i go at for instance but it's not the speed as in how fast you can lay a brick just in that minute it's the it's over the whole eight hours or in some case myself ten hours without a break and I just work through and, and then it's how many late days you're going to work every week, how many days do you have off, you know, like myself, don't really take any holidays, uh, but I'm in that time in my life where I've 
I'm five years into six years into buying an house, doing it completely on a sole income, and got you know kid and missus to support, and you know it's just one of them. There's not. I'm just in that unique situation where I work a lot at the moment, but it's not going to be forever. It's just I'm 28, we're 29 in a couple of months. Probably when I reach my mid 30s, I'll be fucking very different mentality, a very different uh, situation. But it's just the ultimate time of uh, my life where I'm fucking working a lot, unfortunately. But it's fortunate and also that I do like it, so it's just one of them. But anyway. Uh, you'll see me laying these Connie bricks, running them in. Been using profiles a lot of the time now, um, but I'm going to take a little intermission and save this recording. See if it it saves. Right, hold on a minute. So uh, we saved that clip, but I had to start another recording and did the same fucking thing after about ten minutes. So I've lost the second lot of recording now. So. This is what goes into making videos, guys. You know, you, th you think, you'll see this hour long video and you'll think, you know, how long did it fucking really take? Uh, it takes a fucking while when shit like this happens, you know, little technical difficulties and that. So that's why, you know, I don't, I'm not always recording. But anyway, let's get back to the, you know, the topic at hand here. So we're talking about the Connie Bricks and the profiles. So, you know, I'm using more profiles. As time goes on, uh, mainly because I'm using these Connie bricks, you know, that's the biggest thing, probably the biggest pro in summer with these is they don't go off, they don't go off as quick, you know. Um, we've had a bit of heat this week, so they've been, you know, you join them, you join them when they when they're wet, when, you know, when they're still wetish after you've laid them, and they're going off in a couple hours, so in a few hours, so you know, you've got a little bit of lead time. And, you know, they, they get a little bit more easier to work with as the weather gets uh, warmer. So that is a pretty much a pro with them at the moment. I've laid them a lot in the uh, in the hot weather in the past. And, you know, I've, you know, I've enjoyed laying them, you know. But uh, as time goes on, I'm getting I'm getting more and more used to them. I'm getting more and more used to getting the gobbo stiffer and whatnot, as I mentioned in the last clip. Um, that's the main thing. That's the top tip with these Connie bricks. All about your mortar, get it nice and stiff. That's why I'm using these tubs, you see, you know, you can wade through, you can keep get the mortar pretty much pretty stiff and you just live in it up with a shovel, getting it in these tubs and it stays pretty, uh, stays pretty good, you know, in the tubs. And I'm using this seven inch trowel, you know, I've been questioned a lot of times, people like, why are you using this little fucking trowel? Because you don't need to use a big one really, you know. I'm going to be experimenting soon with a bigger trowel in these tubs because, you know, you can see I've got quite a bit of space to work with in that in there i can easily squeeze an extra inch in there when it's trial trial wise so i'm going to try with you know upper upper size of trowel uh, i've got a, i've got a trowel in mind i'm going to cut down and mess about with um i'm just uh you know just taking my time with it all i'm not yeah i've got me grinding and everything to, to grind one down it's just getting you know being asked when you've been using a trial like this size for that long you just think oh why mess around with the formula you know but uh but yeah so you can see i've got these aluminium profiles at each side um i can't I fucking remember i'm trying to memorize four different fucking voice here because i've lost two of them uh but yeah we've I've got Kyle in in the background. Uh, I've got him slightly off, off camera. He's he been he puts in you know on this little thirty brick run. I think he puts in about four or five bricks of course. You know, and when we get on the bigger top outs, you know the bigger gables with like forty odd bricks in them. You know he's putting in you know uh, you know seven or eight bricks if not more in every run when he gets going. Um, but at the moment because we've just been sort of jumping drop to drop. We've not had anything with a serious amount of work in it, you know. The average top art's taking me three or four days, and then two of them days are spent on a table on table lifts mainly. Um, if there's three peaks in them, you know, I get normally two table lifts done in a day. But with all the weather we've had, it's been a diff it's been difficult and the in the wind. So I try to get him on the trowel every day. I can I try to get him to load out at least a day in front? Um, when there's stuff he can't do, like to like next week on the Monday, uh, I've got to leave early because I'm getting my tyres done. But 
we're on basically all day is just going to be watching me pointing up because we're doing tile tops and brick on edge. There's not, and they're only little stretches of meter and a half brick on edge, so it's not out really you can you can get onto practice. Uh, them tile tops, good, you can't even get you know season bricklayers to fucking do them right. Never, never mind apprentice. So, um, so yeah, so it, it's just we're trying to get in lane as much as we can, and, and hopefully the work will pick up a bit. So where we've got more and more to go at, but. A uh, couple of bricklayers I know be ringing around subbies and it's just they ain't got much work on at the moment. There's not a lot going on. It's just nature of the recession, but it'll all pick up at some point and uh, then I'll be able to film a bit more content where I've got a bit more substance to go at, you know. But I'm I'm actually liking this sort of, um, you know, this sort of. Uh, um, resurgence really because I don't burn out as much when I ain't got as big a rush on I, I felt rushed for the last couple of years at work you know it's the, it's the nature as a one on one you know you get you know you always feel a little bit rushed but this year especially from April to April I've not felt rushed much at all you know because there's, there's just there's la less work there's less rush on really you know if you if the, if the site's only got a fraction of the houses they need building in a year you know it's it's just that it's not there's that it's not that urgency or that, that sort of stress that stress you feel in the air as much uh, you know as the weeks and the months roll by you know it's a little bit more chilled and relaxed like you know there's some days where some days where I've only got half half a day of work and I'm going on, and then I'm off having a day off or something, waiting for the next one, and it, you know it gives you that breather. Obviously, you know you're not earning as much, but it gives you that breather. And there's more to life than work at the end of the day. You know, there's you know your health, your wealth, and you know if you fucking work yourself into the ground and get stressed, it's just not beneficial. You know, in the long run, you know we don't work all these years to fucking keel over. So, you know, I think these times are a bit, you know, a bit leaner times, as you call it, isn't always a bad thing. Because you, this year, because of just how everything's worked out, I've got back into powerlifting for the first time, link in the, script, uh, link in the description to my Instagram, HGVegan. Uh, I'll put a little thing on the screen if, I can, if, if this uh, editing app allows it. Um, we're almost 10 minutes into this, so I'm going to pause it and restart the recording. Hold on. Uh, we're back again uh, so yeah so it, it's given me time to sort of uh, get into some more out of work hobbies obviously I've been running for the last year and a half um, and I've now I've recently picked up you know some serious powerlifting again you know I spent a lot of this Saturday so the Saturday after this clip after this Friday clip I spent a lot of this Saturday benching um, sort of trying to touch some weights that I ain't touched in like best part of five best part of uh half a decade really you know since i bought my house pretty much i bought my house five or six years ago i'm on my uh on my uh second fucking remortgage or whatever now and uh you know and you end up getting into on a treadmill ticking over and you lose you know we were especially we are as big layers everyone fucking loves it you know if you're working on price you're working on price you fucking like bricklaying you know there's no fucking two ways about it a lot of bricklayers speak to that's all they do but it's fucking you know it's, it's hard it's it's hard to well it's easy should i say to get out of doing your hobbies and your stuff in your leisure time you, but you've got to retain that you can't fucking chuck all your energy into work you know i've done it in the past don't, don't get me wrong i've done it in the past and it's just not a good way to carry on you end up being less less efficient and less effective in the long run putting all your focus, all your eggs in one basket, all your energy into just laying bricks, you know, and trying to get as much work done because I've spent oodles of fucking time, wa oodles of time wasting on site, doing stuff that, you know, making shit use of my time. But whereas now, in 20, 2024, I've been, ever since Kai's been working with us, since October, I think, of October of last year, we've been really, really... Um, making good use of his time, you know, we've not been wasting time. I don't, I, I don't really have a snap. Kai goes and gets me a snap. I'll send him some dollar to go to uh, go to shop, shop for some snap, and we'll sit down, we'll have it. I encourage him to take a time out, you know. I encourage him when he's learning and that take an extra snap, 
if you've been on the trowel all day, take some, you know, take your rest, you've earned your snap. You know, I'm, I've always sort of been a driving force. I don't, I've always not stopped, but, you know, I encourage him to take a snap. And, um, you know, I try to, you know, I try to minimise his time at work if I can help. I think there were one, one week or a couple of weeks, about a few months ago, and it was the dark nights were coming. We were on some garages, um, doing a top out and whatnot. And I think we were done every day at half two for like a week or two solid. So, you know, I try and sort of, if if the uh, if the work's right and we're in front, like if we've had a good spin, good runner, runner work and we've got stuff in front of us, I try and not, not work too late, you know. And, uh, and uh, you know, especially with the weather as well. But the, the better weather's coming now, so we can expect sort of a good six months now of solid this is a six months of earning weather really guys we're in we're in april and we've got may june july august september october we've got we've got another six months solid of earning weather because you know after october we start getting back to the crap weather where we're all gonna we're gonna start losing time so and the dark nights come so we've got we've got six months to get cracking Get some money in, get it saved for winter, and then, and then the, we 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 start the vicious cycle again. Um, but yeah, this this will be I'm working for at the moment. Uh, you know, it kept me going, it kept me going solid really for the last. Uh, how long has it been? Yeah, 15, 16 months. So it's going pretty well, and uh, every every ball cup I've dropped, I've fixed it, and. Yeah, it's going pretty well, so hopefully I can keep going with these. And because uh, the work they give me is pretty good, to be honest. I get Trek the best I've been to Trek probably in uh, 10 years of subbing, probably. I think it's been. How long have I been self employed? 10 years of an hour? No, t- I was 20, so 8. I've been, oh, I've been subbing, subbing 8, 9 years, I think now. So yeah, been through a lot of subbies, worked for a lot of different people, and every little firm works a different way, but. It's probably best I've been strapped probably in eight or nine years. But it does come down to your age as well, apprentices. It does come down to your age. As you get older, more experience, you just get trapped differently. You do. You know, you know, does it's just the way of the world. Is and then in another ten years, you'll find it as you're getting fucking towards middle age. So as I start reaching forty, I'll get trapped different again. You know, it all works all works different, you know. All works different as you get older. That's the thing that not a lot of people tell you growing up, but you just get trapped different the older you get. You know, the things they'll get a fucking 21 year old to do that they wouldn't dream to get a 41 year old to do or a 51 year old to do. It all all works on age and all works on your circumstance and your experience because they know a lot of the time, you know, a 21 year old won't have the experience to say, fuck that. Uh, compared to a 51 year old you know that's the biggest thing as well so anyway anyway I'll not fucking uh, uh, ramble on any longer so right anyway thanks a lot for watching this voice of a part we've got a bit more footage coming up uh, I show in the rest of this video I'll be doing the cuts I'll do the cuts semi uh, semi without a disc cutter I use a grinder but with these Connie bricks you can cut them with a chisel uh, you know you know, to put a long story short, anywhere I can cut something with a chisel, I'm gonna. I don't want to be fucking cutting with disc cutters and revving steel saws up at all if I can help it. Uh, so, anywhere I can use a chisel, I will. And I've been using a grinder just to help speed things up, make things a little bit more streamlined. But usually, usually the firm work for has all the cuts it's just on the odd time but we don't have them so um normally I'll, i wouldn't be doing this but i'll show you how i do it anyway because a lot of firms don't uh, don't supply cuts at all tons of brick lane subbies t- tons of house builders if you work direct you don't supply cuts so you're going to find yourself doing it like this a lot of the time so uh, this applies to sort of this applies to if you know any any top out this tip so I'll, uh, I'll show you what I'll do the rest of the video and I think I'll do some showing you how to do the cuts doing a bit of pointing up I'll go about it and you've seen the last video of our finish off Connie Bricks wet Connie Bricks but there's there's new little nuances I'm learning with them as well over the time you know it's God, I've been laying these since I came out my time um, 
been laying these nearly 10 years now, so on and off, so <sighs> yeah. Anyway, enjoy the video.
So it's four o'clock. I'm a bit later than I wanted to be, but I couldn't, I couldn't get me selling gear this morning. Uh, but it's four o'clock. Uh, check it yeah, out. I've got one done. That one wasn't perfect. I didn't use my grinder, but the other side's pretty, pretty neat. Um, but they didn't. No, they normally have the cuts for these. Um, but I'm cutting them myself, so you've seen a little clip of me cutting them, but I'll show you how long it takes me to cut both sides of them with my little grinder and my chisel. So yeah, so basically, I've got the cut that isn't the right angle, but this is the right angle, this cut, this is my little template. So we just line the, line the brick up, you can see behind there, we score down the brick, that's so. So I'll do with that for you. Oh. That's why I need two fucking hands. There you go. Cut the brick away. Chisel that edge. And you've seen me grinding the back off or else the end falls off. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna crack on here just to prove just to prove I'm not bullshitting you, it's four o'clock on a Friday. But I wanted to get this finished because, to be quite frank, it's a shit price. Didn't used to be, but they dropped a little bit and, you know, it took me five hour now. So if we'd have had the cuts, it'd have been already done. Uh, so, four hour. So yeah, it used to be like half a day job for this. But I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Right, let's get it done and I'm going on. Fuck it now. I'm gonna die young. Anyway. Uh, basically, it took me about 20 minutes to cut them. 15 minutes maybe. So yeah, I'll we'll put them on. It'll take me probably 20 minutes. So yeah, let's see if we can get off before five. Let's see. Fucking hell, look like a ghost. Right, see you in a sec. So yeah, that's, uh, that's it all done. A few, few little bricks to trim up on Monday. All jointed. They're tidying up. Bosh. And it is oh, after four, before five, before five. So, yeah, right, let's go. So, there we are. Fucking quarter past five on a Friday. Finish it off. Um, shit little bit of work, really. Gary's top out. But, yeah, so. Just for a little, little bit of sort of information, sort of. I know there's a lot of people putting out there. There's loads of TikToks and stuff going. Oh, I've smashed in this 800 brick. I've earned 500 quid or whatever. But when the prices drop, I'm from up north. I live in South Yorkshire and Doncaster. When prices drop, there's little shit bits of work, and you know, certain bits of prices drop. Other prices are a little bit better, but. You know, that was worth about 300 quid, I think, with a, with cutting it myself. Um, it took me about, I don't know, six hour. Uh, Kyle with me most of the day, I always let him go at two. He's not on split, he gets a set rate. Once he's done his hours, once he's done his normal early finish, two o'clock on a, on a Friday, he can get off. Uh, he did all the pointing anyway. And it got some lane in as well today. Um, you know, he's done, but, you know, even then... We're paying Kai, you know what I mean? You're lucky to probably drag about, you know, your standard day work, which is about 200 quid a day. Um, but saying that, agencies only probably pay you 180 now, you know, depending where you go. So that's like your average day work is probably 180. The average brick laying gam probably doesn't even earn 180 a day. They probably earn less. Um, you, you know, you, you, your contracts manager, your brick managers will know with what gangs book in, what they're earning. They're not earning, you know, I know Charlie Collison will put his uh, fucking five, fucking 800 quid in day, 600 quid in day. Fucking, you know, his prices are whatever he gets. But, and it, but the reality is you've got to put some fucking hours in and you've got to be quick on the fiddly stuff and on the shit stuff as well. You've got to take the shit jobs with the good jobs. You know, like today, you know, we were doing some patching. We've, you know, I've done my fair share of patching over the years. You've got to be able to get other problems, know what you're doing. 
and your average your average bricklayer they're just not earning what a lot of these TikTok bricklayers say you're earning. It's just not, and you amount of time moves with weather and all. Like God, are you? I've been this is this is the first full week in like three week I've done, and then before that I was like another three four week from my last full week. And I earn good money because I work late. I work fucking, I'm fast and I work fucking late as well. <laughs> and there's the amount of bricklayers I know or I know of, you know, compared to the average, it's like fucking, it's one in a, it's one in a thousand bricklayers who are fucking probably earning over, over 1500 quid a week. Every bricklayer you talk to, oh, 1500, this, 52 grand. But you're probably one in a thousand earning that, honestly. Yeah, and it's fucking that's the reality of it. And when the prices drop, some sites are paying five fifty now. We're on about six hundred. It's like it's 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 sort of rubbish, really. It's those sort of people, those outliers, or the, everyone in pub pissed up, going, "Oh, I'm two grand a week, too. And he's like, "You're not you're not putting the the amount that you're not moving quick enough. You're not laying quick enough. You can just look at someone and know what they're earning. Almost, you can count the work up in about ten minutes. If well, fucking t ten seconds if you've got a C in math. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. You know, that was me. Obviously, got a few tips. I've done fucking shit on these top outs. Little ones, big ones. And, you know, hopefully I learnt a few little tricks. Right, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to go home. Enjoy my weekend. Oh, by the way, I will tr check me out. Check my Instagram out. HG Regan. I was training at about 11.30 last night. That's why I was a bit rough today. So, yeah, check it out. And I'll see you guys uh, in probably a week or two with the next one.